श्रीलंका भी करबो ताक्षणिक आगतन तब पिति करवे ये वाके में इतामत में सुशेष महत्व में कभी होता आप प्रसन्न आदेश इन पिति करने में सीधा प्रथम बना दो। I think I am the twelfth man for today because young Tilan here he wanted me to come and speak. I think only two days ago. So as twelfth man, I could play a few loose shots. Tilan, Mutha, Murali Daran, Mathi. Mr. Malinda Disanayaka, Mr. Kushir Gunasekara, Murali's long-lasting manager, uh, Suresh Subramaniam, the chairperson of the Olympic Committee, Anna Punjheva, the former president of the cricket board. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I actually tell you about Murali Dharan? Because I think you know all his records, whatever he has done for this country, I'm sure you know. And, and, and those records are right up there with the best in the world, beating the best in the world. But I can tell you, his journey was not a bed of roses. In fact, there was a time in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, the whole world was against him. The whole world was against him. Not because he was not a nice guy. He was much loved by everybody. But they couldn't cope with him. And so they wanted him out of international cricket. I remember being in the forefront of things during that period. And Murali's journey was really a remarkable journey of grit, courage, perseverance and more perseverance. I can't think of any cricketer in this country who would have actually withstood that storm. Because I can tell you a little story which I experienced in fact because I was uh, representing Sri Lanka at the ICC Cricket Committee in, 19, in 2002. And this was I think after he had been called very, very uh, harshly by some umpires. And I was at ICC Cricket Committee meeting in 2002. And the second uh, item on the agenda was actually illegal deliveries. And I still remember taking a deep breath when we came to point two and Sunny Gavaska, who was the chairman, said, you know, illegal deliveries are a serious issue and deformity is no excuse for uh, chucking. So I very innocently looked at uh, Sunny Gavaskan to ask him, can you define deformity? And then he suddenly, you know, went silent for a second or two. And for my luck, uh, David Ackfield, who was representing England, quickly butted in and said, gentlemen, please don't take this argument further because I have got to report something to you which you need to hear and thereafter you can maybe decide whether you want to discuss this or not. And he said, at that time, the new technology of 200 slides per minute had just come in. And he said every single bowler in England whom they recorded especially the fast bowlers had a bend more than 15 degrees. And he said, you need to really look at this. So that was a very, very significant time uh, during this whole saga of trying to penalize Murali. But the thing that we have to remember, gentlemen, is Murali did not just get through that period. He got through it with flying colors. He was maybe the only bowler in the world who proved that he is a legitimate bowler by bowling in a cast. Even his biggest critics 
accepted the fact that he was a great bowler and he was what he was. So I still can't imagine how Murali went through all that money. You, you should be proud of your husband. Uh, I can't think of anybody else who would have uh, had that grit and determination to go through that stormy period because it was very tough when you knew the whole world was against you. Besides this cricket, you know, something that you all may know is that he is a man with a huge heart. He is involved with his manager Kushil. I don't know how you, he, you have survived with him for so long, but congratulations to you too. But, uh, you know, if you all don't know, he's not just a great sportsman, but he's a man with a heart, great heart, very kind, very compassionate, and does a lot for the people who need his friend. So, um, that is Murali Dharan. And if I may just digress, and I think it will be remiss on my part if I don't mention about, mention something on Mr. Gamini Desanayaka, who, who was involved with us during our years of struggle and years of uh, cricket. You know, in 1984, when we went to play our first test match in England, um, I, I still remember we had a dinner the day before the test match at Lord's. And uh, he was, being the chairman of the cricket board, invited to speak. And I'll never forget, after he spoke, the chairman of the TCCB, who was uh, Sir Somebody, I can't remember, um, and I remember he was with uh, British Airways or something like that. His first opening line was, how does one follow Mr. Gamini Dizanayaka after that speech? He was that uh, fluent, that articulate, uh, an incredible um, speaker. The charisma, the personality was incredible. And after we heard him, the next day, we walked tall because we felt so good and com uh, comfortable being Sri Lanka and knowing that we had somebody like Mr. Gamini Disanaka behind us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope I haven't spoken too much, Tilan. Um, so let me introduce Mr. Murali Dharan, the greatest all spinner ever produced.